so i hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day in this video we are going to learn about how we can automate our bug bounty hunting process or penetration testing process by writing our own custom script in bash right so as we all know bash is the main uh, scripting language in linux so we are going to learn how we can automate all this and how we can do a bunch of stuff in our in an automated way using bash scripting but before going into this video as always if you haven't checked out my previous video in which i've shown you that how we can find hidden endpoints from a javascript file then go ahead and check it out the link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen also do check out our website if you haven't checked out our website yet which is bepractical.tech wherein you'll get all of the free contents related to cyber security and web development we have awesome labs over there based on real world scenarios and all of these are absolutely free so go ahead and check it out www.bepractical.tech or simply bepractical.tech now with that being said let's get started so first of all we need to understand few things in order to uh, uh, write our custom automated script first one is you should know some basic commands like cat which can be used to print something echo which can be used to print something on the console as well the difference between cat and echo is that cat is used to print something on a terminal which is a file basically right and whereas echo is used to print something on the terminal a simple string you can say right so this is what the difference between echo and printed so i'm going to create a very uh, uh, let me just go to my desktop and i'm going to create a very simple bash script which will automate the process of subdomain enumeration right so let me just install all the important tools that we use usually in a uh, subdomain enumeration which is a uh, sub finder and sub lister and ms obviously and type minus y so let me just install it real quick and once we have all of these installed in our machine we can finally start the scripting process so let's just wait for a few seconds now once we have the tool installed in our machine we are ready to create our bash script right so let us create a simple file let's say nano uh, automate dot sh right hit enter and here we are now what we need to do basically first of all we need to create our simple algorithm right so first thing that our uh, bash script is going to do is going to take a domain name from the user so it is going to ask for user to input a domain name after that using that domain name it is going to run a bunch of tools like sub uh, lister sub finder ms right so this is what our tool is going to do so first of all the first step is to take input from the user for that we need, we can use a simple uh, function which is read to read something from the terminal so let me show you how so first of all we are going to type echo which is going to print on the terminal so let's type enter a domain name and after that type read and here let's say initialize a variable name to be domain right after that just do nothing and just see whether the tool is working or not so we can type your domain name is and use dollar to add the variable in the string right and here we are let us save this file and let's, let's try to run this and let's see whether it is uh, executing perfectly or not as you can see it is asking for user to enter a domain name let's say test.com hit enter and as you can see it is showing that your domain name is test.com so this is how we can take input in bash now once we have the input what we want to do we want to run a bunch of tools on this particular domain so i'm going to type uh, let's say the first tool that i'm going to run is let's say sublister right so i'm going to type uh, running sublister on domain okay and it is going to print it on the terminal and now we want to run the subdomain so we can simply type sublister minus t and here we are going to pass domain name minus o where we are going to store the file so we are going to type domain uh dot txt something like this and or we can simply do one thing like uh, domain dot txt and let's hit enter let's see what happens whether the tool is working fine or not so let me just save it and let us try to run the script bash automate dot sh type b practical dot tech for example hit enter and it is showing that running sublister on bpractical.tech let us wait and as you can see it is running 
the command has been running perfectly so it is also showing that the virus total is probably blocking our request none of our concern what we want is to run the script to automate it using bash let us wait for a few seconds till the execution gets completed and here we are and uh, if you have uh, seen the command perfectly you can see that there is a domain.txt so if our commands get executed perfectly we should see domain uh, bpractical.tech.txt something like that and as you can see we are not seeing that why it is uh, going like that so we can simply get rid of this and instead of this we can type let's say uh let's we can type sub lister dot txt it is simply because the sub lister is not accepting the output string in the string uh, file itself and now it should work let us see again be practical dot tech or simply it could happen if the uh, sublister is not returning anything so there are two possible scenarios the first one is the sublister is not accepting the uh, string as an output for the minus o flag and the second one is that it is not returning anything so what we can do now is i'm just going to stop it and let's instead of sublister let us try to run stuff finder and let's see whether it is running or not so sub finder minus t and here subfinder.txt and let's just put it in double quotes and let's type domain underscore subfinder.txt and let us see whether it's working or not so there may be some problem in the sublister which i don't know if it's showing sublister because we have not edited the echo let us wait And here we are the execution has been completed let's type ls and see whether the file has been there or not okay again there is no file let us try to change the domain i think there may be some problem with our domain name which sublister or subfind is not able to find any domain name of it we can try any other domain name let's say octopus.energy they are also running above boundary program so you can just go ahead and check it out and as you can see right from the start we are getting a lot of subdomains and let's see whether these files are getting saved as uh, we have given in the bash script or not let's wait for a few seconds and here we are the execution has been completed and again you are seeing that the file is not getting saved why because it is also not accepting the uh, output in double quotes so let me just get rid of this real quick and instead of this i'm going to get rid of this dollar and let's do this just just get rid of this and let's hit enter and let's see whether it will uh, execute or not so octopus dot energy and now as you can see the execution has been completed let's type ls and here we are the file has been now saved in subfinder.txt exactly as we have mentioned in the bash script if i tap if i type cat subfinder.txt let's see we have all the domains subdomains right so our program is working fine so our script is also working very fine so i'm just going to get rid of this sublister because we are running subfinder first i'm going to type subfinder and good now once we have uh, executed subfinder i'm going to execute sublister so i'm going to type running sublister on the given domain and now as you may have guessed we are going to type sublister minus t dollar domain minus o and sublister dot txt right and now this will execute sublister in our terminal and once we have sublister execute what we want we want to execute the ams i'm not going to execute ams but you can do execute ams using this same code which i'm writing so you can type ams uh, on domain because ams takes a lot of time i'm not going to use it but i'm going to show you how we can do this as well enum minus t pass the domain name minus o ams dot txt this two line of code this single line of code will execute the ams on the 
particular target. I'm just going to get rid of this. Now, once we have all the subdomains collected, the second thing is to look for the duplicate values, right? We want to get rid of the duplicates value. So what we can do, let me just show you a, a simple example of how we can get rid of duplicate values. Let me create two files. The first file is, let's say, uh, dupe1.txt, in which I'm going to type, let's say, my name, be practical, mm. test, right? And let's create another file, let's say, dupe2.txt. And here I'm going to type, uh, let's say, Fayaz and uh, best and testing, right? Now, as you've seen that the duplicate values in both of these two texts is Fayaz, right? Because Fayaz is present in dupe one and as well as dupe two. So if I type cat dupe one and dupe two, so I'm going to print both of these files content on the terminal. You'll see we have Fayaz two times, right? So we need to get rid of that. So we can just use the pipe, which will pass the output of cat in another command and we're going to type sort minus u which will reduce the duplicate value if i hit enter now as you can see the fayaz has been the extra fayaz has been reduced right this is how we can filter out the duplicate values so let us see that how we can use this in our automated script we can just type let's say echo removing duplicate values and just type so we know the file name is sublister and subfinder i'm going to type subfinder sublister and sort minus u now after sorting we want the output to be saved somewhere so i'm going to use this to save it into let's say a file name as sorted.txt right and now we have a sub a bunch of subdomains stored in sorted.txt Right, so this file will not contain any duplicate values at all. Now, once we have the subdomains perfectly enumerated, we want to run HTTPX or HTTP probe to find the uh, live application on the subdomains, right? We can just type uh, running HTTPX on a domain. And here we can just type HTTPX, sorry, we can type cat sorted.txt because we know that this file will contain all the sorted uh, subdomains and we are going to pass it to HTTPX and HTTPX will store the output, let's say HTTP.txt. So uh, currently I have not HTTPX installed in my machine. So I'm just going to get rid of this. And let us try to run what we have created so far. Let's save this file. Let's try to run this bash automate.sh let's provide a domain name i'm going to type octopus.energy again and let's see how our script is working now as you can see we have gotten some kind of error which is Okay, so we need to provide the extension as well, .txt and .txt over there as well. So let me just provide it real quick. And let us see if it will work or not. Just type octopus.energy, hit enter. So as you can see, the execution has been completed. So it is showing one small error that sublister no such file or directory. Maybe it's because the sublister is not working from our terminal because it, uh, the request may be getting blocked by some kind of web application firewall. That's why sublister is not returning anything, right? But anyways, we have seen that how we can use uh, how we can use sublister, subfinder, and amass to create our own automated script that will help us to find uh, subdomains, right? So if I type ls, you see we have a file known as sorted.txt which contains all the data of subdomain from the uh, sources which are provided to find subdomain. As you can see, we have these many of links stored in our uh, terminal, right? 
So yeah, this is how we can create a simple uh, bash script that can be used to enumerate subdomains. So I'm going to create more videos on how we can automate a bunch of stuff using uh, bash scripting. For now, it is how we can enumerate subdomain. If you have any doubts, if you have any issues, then feel free to comment out doubts or issues in the comment section. Also, do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies uh, going into cybersecurity and web development. So with that being said, thanks for watching.